some medicine skill magazines. Well, should is an interesting question, but I don't think I do. Unfortunately, I might have at one point. Oh, baby, a subscriber! Wabaki Snatcher, thank you very much for the subscription. Leave and come back? Alright, what about this guy? Medicine 50 or higher required. Attempt to treat him. Alright, so they, they won't let me do it. Fair enough, we'll come back later. Yes, you do, you want to do this sea red. I, well, I gotta admit, I'm a little tempted. Let's see if we can do anything else here. Go buy a medicine skill magazine, then. Is there just is there a, a merchant that sells them? I'll keep an eye out for them now that I know. I always get wary when NL pulls out an axe and points it at a heavily injured person. Hey. I'm not. Do I have to talk to Pete? I really do not want to. Oh, is that a medicine? No, it's La Fantoma. Tales of Chivalry. We already have one of those. I really don't want to listen to this kid tell me the story of his people. I apologize if that sounds crass. Small Pete? Oh, my snow globe. I know a great collector of these. <laughs> He's just hanging around. Steal that kid's comics? I don't know. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Yeah, definitely. Um. Gosh, there's a over at the workshop. Loyal and Jack are always building something. The loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around. What do you mean, my kind? Wonder. Um. Hey. Where is he going? How can I help you, outsider? I know I seem kind of young. Whiskey and landmines don't go together. You're telling me. Um. Do I have to follow him? Wonderful. I'm sure you've. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I can spare Excellent. the time. Imagine you're the oh, first. Oh, baby, a subscriber. Platinum Emu, thank you very much <clears throat> for the subscription. Oh, he's walking over to the mural as we speak. I understand. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Twenty percent done. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but they were the downside. <laughs> For every forty-three point six savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. We blew them up. It was neat. How did you like the mass slaughter, Pete? Here it was neat! And multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, yeah, but what happens when one gets inside? You little but, bitch. Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. You best be careful what you say. has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. I'm just looking to get a better view here. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. Um to restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. You're going to you're going to get like a B52 destiny. bomber? I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. I don't like this. Let me know. Accepted. Oh, fantastic. Now that you know the story of our... Um, sure. Don't tell me the story of the mural. In our vault, everyone okay, had guns. Okay, vault 34, everyone had guns. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Cool. Um, your people are really crazy about blowing stuff up. Keep that opinion to yourself when Ooh, visiting wow. Ellis, outsider. It makes you sound ignorant. I thought I was complimenting them! Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred Several years ago. automatic Even warheads? Highly radioactive. Uh, we need the to work on the school system here in Boomertown. Amos's all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? Don't use your racial slurs on me, kid. 
Loyal found her file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. That was actually uh, 20, 26 days ago. Intact, you have, exactly the nuclear bombs were only recently dropped. You guys have just dissociated from reality far too quickly. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, oh, the ex exactly free experience. Plan to do. You should go talk to him. Anything else you want to know? Not really, but, you know, maybe we can get some more experience here. Nellis is a completely self-sufficient. Um... Oh, <laughs> the ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Uh, just tell them what they want to hear. All right, what are Howard's, howitzers right. doing at an Air Force base? Discovered Nellis. Area 2 has weapons. The howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass We just got on. an achievement. Anything and 90 experience! Alright. Um, oh, to slip the surly bonds of earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Maybe you should learn how to read, you smarmy son of a gun. Alright. So is that like one part of that quest done that I never have to experience again? So much brown nosing. Yo, I got the experience, so who's, uh, oh, who's the loser now? Oh, baby, a subscriber. Disc WV, thank you very much for the subscription. There's gotta be a way, oh, how sweet would it be if Chris Haversom came back and was like, I found new people, and they're like, you know, Chris, they'll never accept you, man. You're not a boomer, they think you're a savage, and he's like, you're right. All right, I'll tell you what. That thing under control, I will. We'll put some sugar bombs in the fuel tank, and then we would just watch them crash and blow up the whole Air Force base. Oh, it would I be hope beautiful. Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. It's been a while since we've seen a good slit tickler in the game, and I gotta agree that this one fits the bill. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it. But it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that my old bones near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Okay. I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering... That, that is Easy that Pete's voice! If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Um, alright. Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. These people are so fucking xenophobic. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. Ask me anything. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. Don't, we no. We dream to one day rule the sky. Did he not give me the code? So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. We have better uh, reading comprehension, too. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well... Uh, forget it. Oh, I need to know. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. Uh, me like personal matters is maybe how you'd expect me to say it, you goddamn racist. That must be nice. Sharing yourself like that. Not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, you can't Ooh. miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? This oh, guy geez. is going to be too well, easy I to manipulate. Just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look into it. Stranger things amazing. have happened. All right. Are we really going to do all the quests for these guys? Answer: Yes. Raul. That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? 
What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Raul? That loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. What are you trying to say? Um... Yeah, Loyal's using his years of knowledge to help his tribe. I think that's a noble yeah, goal. That's what I thought, too. Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside... Raul, you're really starting to sound like a real fucking well, Pete right now. Just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody. But I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have time for this, but let's Just keep going. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually Boone would never talk this much. That is true. Before we ran out of food, things got violent. My father and I got our guns and we drove them off. About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. <clears throat> my whole family was trapped inside. I smelled the smoke, and I got myself and my. Raúl's fucking three hundred years old. Know, yeah, man. But my parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters. All dead. Man, this guy really knows how to bum you out, huh? Rafael and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. <laughs> um... You can't think it was your fault. I know that, boss. That's Don't call me I boss. Did. We're friends. This is a little I'm just uncomfortable. Sentimental in my old age. Anyways, forget it. Just wanted that off my chest. Yeah. Anyways, forget that. Yeah, you sound like you're you're really over it. Nice little like crossed arm pose. You look like a really natural body language right now. Really relaxed. Really comfortable. Oh, he's good. Or is he? Raul! Raul, it's time for dinner! Oh, what are we having? Uh, roast beef? Fuck. Alright. Hi. Boss is a term of endearment between bros? Hi. This is not true. How can I help you, outsider? Don't tell me the story of the fucking mural again. I only have one life to live. Okay. Um. Should we do Young Hearts? How far away is Young Hearts? Not very far away. It's in the Crimson Caravan Company. We can do that one right now. That kid is fucking full of mural stories. This is correct. Finish the Brotherhood quest line, you scum. Please, no. Ah, fuck. What's the problem? Open gate to the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm ready, man. I can't believe it was so close and I never realized it. We're getting, like, so many quests here all at the same time. I will not have you tarnish the title of boss. I have never called a friend of mine boss. That would freak me the heck out. Applies some kind of hierarchical you go relationship. Talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. No, uh, pardon me. I've walked all across the wasteland to find you, uh, Helen of Troy. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Oh, baby, a subscriber! Zebulonius, thank you very much for the subscription. I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you for some conceivable reason. Nice-looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Uh, he's like Owen Wilson, but with the intelligence of a Vince Vaughn. Oh, I've just gotta meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Can I do it? 
chat? Are you gonna be mad if I uh, if I just tell her to walk in and then let her get blown up? I need to know. Oh, baby, a subscriber. Maybe. Thank you very much for the subscription. Do it, do it, no. Yes, do it, do it. Don't you dare. Do it, do it. Okay. It seems like we got like a 60-40 split between do it and don't do it. Smoke her bitch ass. I'm going to count that as a do it. Really? Thank you so much. I'll get going right away. When the lights go down in the city and the sun shines on the bay how long is this run i don't know Ooh, i wanna be back in my city oh 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 doom doom ticka doom doom ticka doom so you think you're lonely well, my friend, I'm lonely too. Wanna get back to my city by the bay? Oh, baby, a subscriber. Oh, 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 oh. Doctor two two one B. Thank you very much for the subscription. I can't hit the notes that Steve Perry does after that. But I, I really wanted to keep the song going for this whole like montage of her running here. It's gonna be so much better. Oh man. Will she be safe with NL as an ex, uh, an escort? It doesn't matter, because I'm going to just watch with binoculars as she runs into the abyss. Record it and give Jack the holotape. If Caesar's dead, why ain't the NCR tape? Oh, God! Raul! Was that strictly necessary? Oh, she's too fast now! It'll be nice to see someone else try to get to the fence. That's actually a, a great point. Oh. oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Hello. Hi. How's Tomo doing? <laughs> Kate, I told this girl that a guy here has a crush on her. But she's gonna get shot up with rockets. As soon as she runs here. Why would you do that? I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> She disappeared! Quest failed! Oh, I guess she probably... She probably bricked it. Sorry! <laughs> uh, love stinks! I roasted her. She was doing a pretty good job, honestly. Well, alright. Well, we know how to get back, at least now. GG, you fucking savage. If anything, hopefully this convinces the boomers to stop shooting everybody with howitzers when they show up. I don't want to enable their bullshit, like, uh, xenophobic strategies, you know? I want them to... to learn the error of their ways. I still can't believe how you ran Shut up, I'm the garage. world's fastest man and you're a little bitch. Guess where Ruka was. Uh, In the box. Again. What? How did you get there? Just keep opening it. He looks uh, so sleepy. I'm gonna break his spine. Don't one day. break his spine. This is not pet ownership. We're gonna give him the karate chop. You're gonna give him a karate chop. <laughs> Remember, you came here to find the Brotherhood guys. Oh, I'm I'm aware of why I came here, but things change, baby. Things change. Can I not, like... I'm trying to see, like... Oh, there's just no quest for me anymore. Alright. Um, I guess it's done. I kind of want to talk to that dude, though. I guess we can just fast travel to the hangars, even though they're right here. Nuki seems so happy. Um, oh, didn't mean to take that out. Is this the entrance? This is the entrance. I want to talk to this guy and see what happened. Tell him what you've done? Maybe I will. Excuse me. He's got to be in here, right? There's a lot of people here. We're looking for blonde hair. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. I don't know where Jack has gone. 
I'm gonna fuck up your pool tables, though. Where the heck is Loyal? Ah, uh, can't steal out of these. Why do you want to lick his salty tears? You caught me, man. Wrong hanger? Oh, come on. These people have got to work on their... Mapping. Look for the one that is depressed. Hey. hey that's nothing to joke about, man. Oh, it's this hanger. Okay. Where's my jack at? There's Loyal. I wasn't looking for you, mister. Psych, that's the wrong hanger. Oh, that's true. Yo, this bomber is never going to be airworthy, just so you know. I do want to steal this. Oh, Rex, someone wearing a hat, boy? Look for the one eagerly awaiting the arrival of his only love. Ooh, when you put it that way, I feel sort of bad. Oh, there, uh, Jack! I've never seen a ghoul up close. That is not Jack. Jack? I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. This place is too big, man. Um, okay. Let's do an actual quest. Thank you. Oh, Kate, could you be a deer and refill the coffee mug, please? Thank you. I love you. It's the blood of life. I appreciate it. There's another hanger? Yes, Jack is the woman and the little Asian dude. I don't think that you're being serious right now. Should we repair the broken solar array panels? Where is the where's the parts here? This is not the parts. This is like a waypoint I set ages ago. So both of the quest beacons are like in the same area here. Let's walk. Oh my god. God. Thank you. I appreciate it. Repair Jack's broken heart. That's not even possible, so don't even sweat it. Is Kate sneezing or yelling eat shit? Kate, were you sneezing or yelling eat shit? Kate was sneezing. I believe her. Heck yeah. Can't throw that out. That's Perrier, baby. It's like 10 cents per 100 milliliters. If these were... Yes? Alcohol? Yeah. You would have serious talk with me. If, if those four bottles of water were alcohol, you would have a serious talk with me. Yeah. I hope you would. But that's like, if it was, uh, if it was jet fuel, I'd be dead. If it was, if it was gold bars, we'd be millionaires. I don't understand the relation here. Oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for, a terminal. I can handle this. Generator, power source, unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. That sounds like oh, fun. Oh baby, a subscriber! Lugar Bear, thank you very much for the subscription. Oh, Rex, you scared me. All right, check all cords and plugs for connection. Perhaps I will. Repair 65 or higher. Oh, Why didn't I level up repair? Hmm. Do I have a repair uh, book or something? No, Tales of Chivalry probably not. Mentaz is not going to do it. Destroy the panels. Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't possibly, could I? Any magazines? I don't think so. Fixing things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I must have used fixing things earlier. Hmm. Thank God my trusty canteen is here for me. Have Raul fix it? This is also a possibility. Well, I was looking for, like, the quest beacon. But all of the quest beacons are over here. There are spare panels at Helios 1. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware. I'm just, I'm, why did that not show up on my map when I looked at it? Maybe it did and I'm stupid? It did and I'm stupid. Okay, back to Helios 1. My mistake. 
Helios 1 coming